these are just a few ideas that I've you know come up with. Most of them I've done myself. So the first idea that I got that can make you some extra money or even possibly make you a full-time income is becoming an Uber driver. Uber drivers make pretty decent money, um, especially if you're doing it full-time, you know. I used to be an Uber driver myself, and um, when I was an Uber driver, I truly enjoyed the experience because I got to meet a whole bunch of new faces and exchange information with business and um, individuals and whatnot. And, um, you know, I don't think Uber allows you to receive tips, but, um, you know, oftentimes the passengers will, you know, give me tips and, you know, I'm not going to turn down free money. I don't think, I don't think anybody will turn down no free money. But yeah, you can become an Uber driver or, um, you know, a typical, typ a typical Uber driver who does it full time, they make a salary of about $40,000. Yeah, so Uber is a pretty cool way to make some extra income or, you know, even make it a full time job. My idea number two is, um, I don't know if you heard of it, but it's a site called Fiverr.com. And on there is, um, you know, you basically go on there and hire people to do gigs for you, um, you know, things that you may need to do that maybe help start your business, like maybe write a business proposal or help you with writing a resume or, uh, you know, even uh, maybe um, help you create a website or maybe some mobile apps or something like that. Um, but then there's another side to Fiverr is actually being one of those people who do those things. So, you know, if you have any uh, type of skills that, you know, like with, with blogging or, you know, writing resumes or, um, creating mobile apps or something like that, Fiverr might be a thing for you, you know. there I've heard stories of people making, you know, over $100,000 a year, you know, working for Fiverr, you know. So, you know, that can be side, side, uh, side job income, or, you know, you can even make that into, you know, a full-time job, you know, um, doing Fiverr. Idea number three, DoorDash. Now, I've driven for DoorDash myself, and I kind of, uh, Honestly, me personally, I really didn't like it because like sometimes when I would drive for DoorDash, you know, they would have me sitting there and waiting around and I had to schedule my work hours versus, you know, with Uber, you don't have to schedule your work hours. Um, but still with DoorDash, you still can make some money because um, though it was $5 with every order with DoorDash, you also get a tip on top of that. So, um, you know, you can run probably like five trips in an hour and that's like $25 you can make in an hour. That's if they don't have you sitting around. But if they have you sitting around, you know, you still guarantee ten dollars an hour working with uh, DoorDash. Um, I've used DoorDash. I do use DoorDash myself to order food and to, you know, to even um, go out there and, and, and work for DoorDash. And um, I have made money with it. So you know, with do work, it's just that I didn't like um, you know waiting around. But you know, some people, you know, they, they might they might like it. So that's why I put that on my list. Idea number four. Amazon Flex. Now, Amazon Flex is, um, you know, it's, it's basically kind of like DoorDash. When DoorDash, you're delivering food. But with Amazon Flex, you're just delivering stuff, you know, for Amazon. So people may um, order something online and um, you'll go to the Amazon Fulfillment Center and pick it up and take it to, uh, you know, the people, whoever ordered what they ordered online, you know. And um, it's a good cool way to make some money, make some extra cash and I've never worked for Amazon Flex myself but I've heard some pretty good things about it. I heard people making um you know pretty decent salaries on it anywhere from thirty seven to forty thousand dollars a year. So you know you can do it as a part time gig or you can even make it to like a full time thing. And now for my fifth and final idea it's Upwork. Upwork is kind of like Fiverr but with Upwork it may be a little bit better um, not if you're trying to purchase something but if you're actually trying to do some work now me i've used upwork um on the on the side of purchasing stuff purchasing um stuff off of it you know hiring people to do work for me off of upwork but for you it may work out for you better if you want to actually like do some work you know like i said it works just like fiverr but only thing instead of like fiverr you know everything starts off at five dollars you know all the services starts off at five dollars with upwork you can um you can list your price on a however much you want to charge per hour for your services. So say you offer services to write somebody a resume, you can charge them $25 an hour to write them a resume. You know, it's people on there charging, you know, hundreds of dollars, you know, to do things for people. I heard, I've heard people making six figures or upward. So, you know, 
um, that's that's a way to make some extra money or even make, make it into a full-time thing. Those are a few of my work for yourself ideas. Um, hopefully these ideas can help you become more financially free and more financially independent. Um, if you have any more ideas, please let me know and leave some comments at the bottom and I'll be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it in any kind of way, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you guys have any ideas of how I can make my videos any better, please leave comments at the bottom.